crazy bookish friends. My name is Liv or Olivia. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me this weekend for this vlog. Welcome to another cozy weekend at home vlog where we are just going to be doing all the cozy things. I'm just going to be straight up with you guys that I have been feeling very burned out. The past couple weeks, I have just not really had any motivation to film, not really had the energy to be in front of the camera. I've also had some health concerns that I'm currently currently working through and it's just been exhausting and I have to wait for an appointment and so my anxiety is a little bit high right now and I just wanted to do a cozy at home vlog doing all of my favorite things to distract myself and all the things that just make me feel good but also just make it like a super low-key vlog because I just don't have the energy to do a sit down video or plan a sit down video. All of that aside I am okay but I probably might be a little bit more spotty with my uploads for the rest of the month. We're just kind of playing it by ear, seeing how I feel, seeing how things go. And honestly, that mood is also kind of playing into my reading because I'm definitely going to be mood reading this weekend as well, which I am actually pretty excited about. I feel like I have had pretty structured months, whether it's readathons or book clubs or whatever it is. So I'm excited to just have a weekend where I can just read whatever I want. But in this vlog, I am very shortly here going to leave to go pick up one of my youngest sisters who's going to spend the night and hang out with me this weekend which I'm very excited about. She's 13 years old. We have so many laughs and so much fun together but we don't always get to see each other that much because you know we've just got our own separate things going on and so I decided to have her over to stay the night mainly because I wanted her to teach me how to make one of those like hand woven crochet blankets. It seems pretty easy but she's made so many of these so she's obviously an expert at it. So I'm gonna have her show me how to get started on making one of those. We are all also going to make some cookies together. I'm about to go prep one of my favorite fall soups so I will definitely take you guys along with me. But I also wanted to show you guys my mood reading TBR stack for this week. I'm actually currently reading two books right now so I don't know if I'm going to end up finishing both of these or if I'll end up getting sidetracked with other books. Who's to tell? But the first one that I am definitely going to be finishing this weekend is Starling House by Alex e. Haro. I'm currently almost at the halfway mark and I am just as intrigued as when I first started it. This is creepy. This is eerie. It seems like it's a very unique twist on your typical haunted house but it actually reads a little bit more contemporary than I thought it was gonna be and that's definitely not a bad thing but I am really 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 enjoying this one. If you've never read an Alexi e. Hara before she does have very descriptive writing but in this book she makes it incredibly intriguing so I am just full on into this. I'm feeling that five star feeling. I'm also currently reading Belladonna. I'm not very far in at all. I'm about 75 pages in. It's going by very quickly but because these two have similar kind of spooky vibes I think I'm going to focus mainly on this one first before I dive back into this one again because the other one's just pulling my attention a little bit more and on the weekends I somehow always am craving a manga or a graphic novel. Just something quick and easy and fun to dive into. So I have four that are on my list right now that I really, really, really would love to get to. I have Wait Till Helen Comes, which looks extremely spooky. I have The OK Witch and the Hungry Shadow, which is number two in the series of this adorable witchy middle grade, and I love it. I really was hoping to read this last year and don't know why I didn't. I also recently picked up Serafina and the Black Cloak, which looks extremely spooky, and it takes place at the Biltmore Estate state which is near where I live. It's a stunning 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 building and honestly I didn't know it took place at the Biltmore which is even cooler so I am just really excited to get to this one and then I also have the ghoul next door. I think this little boy like befriends a ghost or something but I honestly don't know much about it at all. It sounds really good and really creepy. Yeah some of these visuals are really creepy already in here and I'm so here for that. It looks like Gollum almost. Oh yeah, that's really creepy. So I think I'm leaning towards this one the most honestly just because I'm so curious about it. But the main goal is to just mood read and just to do things that make me feel good and that are cozy for fall. I'm also super into playing Dreamlight Valley right now so we might do some cozy gaming, a movie night. But without further rambling, I do need to go ahead and prep my chicken tortilla soup for tonight which I'm very excited about. I don't often pull out my crock pot but I think today is one of those days. It's a little bit chilly outside 
outside here in the south so I'm just of course going to take advantage of that and we're gonna make a soup but I'm gonna go ahead and prep that get that going in the crock pot so I can run out and go pick up my sister we can go to Hobby Lobby and we may even stop by Target for a couple things because I need some eggs for the cookies that we're gonna hopefully make but yeah let's just go ahead and get this fall vlog started
as big as can I be. It's still really warm. Feels so good. Ready? Oh, clink! Mmm. <laughs> this is so good. Mm. I have bigger than all. <laughs> no, that's falling apart! Oh, once you hit that cheese, mm, you're so 10 good. out of 10. <laughs> 12 out of 10. It's so gooey. Mm. So good. <laughs> 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 These are the best cookies I've ever had. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday <laughs> Breaking the bank, how many do you have? Too many She's gonna edit herself, or what's the word you said? Process of elimination. Process of elimination. <laughs> Sister after my own heart. Who's gonna buy more? This is her stuff. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> Bro, I want all of them. <laughs> Decisions. We're getting closer. <laughs> call for you. I wasn't planning to spend quite that much money yesterday or get that many books, but then I returned 
two books and I got $50. So I got some great books to share with you, but just a little recap of yesterday. Yesterday night did not go exactly how I planned to. We had something come up. We've got like a big decision to make, which I probably will share more later in my Instagram or on my Instagram stories. It's nothing major. It's just an adult decision that has to be made and it's taking a lot of time and it's a process. So I did not get any reading done last night and today I'm feeling very tired from a lot of different things but yesterday was so much fun we woke up we had breakfast my sister showed me how to start or like make one of those crochet blankets and it was so much easier than i thought it was gonna be but that being said i did not have the means to sew two of the yarn ball ends like together so the blanket will not be complete in this vlog i will definitely leave a tutorial video for you guys down below so we basically did that got ready spent almost two and a half three hours I think in the bookstore so I'm gonna share with you now my book haul because I am very excited I have not been this excited for a book haul in quite some time especially this first book I'm gonna show you unfamiliar to I've been waiting for this graphic novel it is pretty tiny but it's about a cozy kitchen witch who moves into this new town with a haunted house and she makes friends to try to help her get rid of these ghosts and it's just such a perfect vibe for this time of year and I love the pink colors of this cover this is just so fun so I'm definitely gonna be reading this one today because I cannot wait any longer I also picked up Ravenfall by Kaylin Josephson this is a book a middle grade book that I have had my eye on for a while now but I've been waiting for it to come out in paperback so it's cheaper and I saw this and I was like yes I need this right now the back says settle in with a full mug of hot cider and a cozy blanket you won't want to put Ravenfall down I mean right there I was like yeah I need this book. This is full of Celtic mythology. You also have our main character who I think is a psychic. She comes from a family of psychics. Our other main character who's a boy named Colin I think is missing a sibling and so they team up together I think to try to find possibly his other sibling. I also picked up A Pinch of Magic by Michelle Harrison. This is another middle grade book that is not spooky but I've also had my eye on it for quite some time now. It was originally published in the UK and you could only get it I think from like book depository or book outlet and the cover was gorgeous. I think the cover is still really cute and I remember Lexi and Gavin I think talking about this one a long 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 time ago and said they were loving it. There are sisters that go to this gloomy island and they are given a set of magical objects with its own powers and all the objects have a terrible secret which is the sisters family is haunted by a generations long curse that prevents them from ever leaving the island at the cost of death. This next one was 100% a cover buy for me. I did not know this book was so beautiful. That is Green Wild by Perry Thompson. I have seen this around a little bit but not a ton. I just know that this is full of botanical gardens, there's a funny cat, and it's a middle grade fantasy. So that's all I really needed to know. Okay this is stunning as it is but when I I opened this up and I saw the naked cover with the gold foiling. Oh my goodness, not only that, I opened it up even further and there's this stunning purple map. There's also really amazing illustrations within the story itself, but then there's also an insert right in the middle that is the complete botanist a field guide to the green wild and it's actually a different type of paper it's like a glossy paper but it's basically just like a field guide with different plants in them and their descriptions and it's just so cute i was completely sold i had to get this book i think it could be one that i really love i also picked up the naturals by jennifer lynn barnes we have all of these booktube girlies that are reading the series right now and i didn't realize this was like an og kind of booktube series because this was published in 2013. I did not realize until recently that it was this old and even though it's old and even though I didn't love the inheritance games I have heard great things about this. It's basically like criminal minds but with teenagers that have superpowers
powers that help solve these cases and this is the first I think in a series of four but we're gonna see how this goes I'm really intrigued by it and it was part of a sale buy one get one 50% off so these two were like part of the sale so this one was only like four dollars thanks to my friend Rachel for bringing the trial of the Sun Queen to my attention this is apparently a romanticy I don't think this one's super spicy but it does get spicier I think as you go in the series but I had never seen this one before I love the cover and apparently there are 10 sisters that like fight to be the queen to the Sun King and I love a sister dynamic and I love a competition and it's romanticy and that's kind of all I needed to know last but not least another book that I actually got from the publisher this weekend is the star in the strange moon by Constance Sayers this comes out in November the only thing I know about this and why I wanted to request it is it's basically about this girl who's an actress and she plays in horror movies but I think some of these things in the horror movies she starts seeing in her real life which sounds absolutely crazy and it actually sounds like it's a dual timeline in 1968 and 2007 so I'm just very 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 curious about this one there's also like some messages back and forth I don't know this one just intrigues me a lot and maybe I'll get around to reading it before it comes out and I can let you guys know what I think I also got some very exciting mail because I don't typically order from David's tea but I realized I'm completely out of any kind of tea I have and tea is like the ultimate comfort drink in the month of fall for me and going into the winter so I decided to splurge a little bit I only popped open the top so I thought it would be fun to open this with you guys I got some really really fun flavors that I've been wanting to try for a while and also some new flavors that they had so let's just open this together oh they put samples in here this one is cinnamon rooibos chai I love chai and I love rooibos. We also have Caribbean Crush, which is fruity, tropical, and refreshing. This one was also a bonus. It was free because I think if you spend $60 or more, they give you free shipping plus a little bonus item. And what I got was the pomegranate tea bags. This is just a white tea and you can drink it hot or iced, which sounds really yummy. The first thing I got is peach matcha. This is just a peach matcha powder. It's nothing fancy but I like to mix matcha powder with my super greens or bloom powder that I drink it really has helped my body and my energy so much and my gut health and I thought it would be really fun to mix the fruity flavors with peach matcha especially for a little extra pick-me-up or caffeine plus I just miss making a good iced matcha latte I also have another matcha flavored loose leaf tea that had really good reviews but isn't some thing I would normally choose is matcha ice cream. I'm guessing it just tastes like a creamy matcha but regardless I'm still excited to try this because it was only five dollars so I was like you know what why not if the reviews are really good then I'm willing to try it. The main tea that set off this haul for me is I used to buy a really good lavender sleepy time tea and I do not have any more sleepy time teas. They would really help me fall asleep because I've just been having issues sleeping lately and this one I remember my sister saying that she really loved which is Valerian Nights. This one is an herbal infusion. It has apple, roasted coconut, rooibos, chamomile, caramel pieces, sweet blackberry leaves, natural coconut flavoring, valerian root, etc. This sounds like a very interesting combination of teas, but I think it'll be really yummy. I adore and love chai teas. This is like my number one tea that I always go to. I love a good iced chai tea latte, a hot chai tea latte. I love a dirty chai. That's like my go-to Starbucks drink or drink anywhere. So I got two of their fall chai teas. The first one is just the pumpkin chai. I've never tried a pumpkin chai in my life, but it sounds amazing. I tried to make my own pumpkin chai with like some pumpkin spice syrup and it just wasn't quite it for me. And then I also got a s'mores chai this one also has hazelnuts in it so I think it's gonna be so good these are probably gonna be my go-to teas for the next couple months last but not least I have a sweet potato pie tea if you've ever been on their website you know this is like the highest rated tea on their website I've been dying to try it for years it's a black tea it has pecans cinnamon butternut squash nutmeg ginger allspice oh I think I might have to try this one this afternoon because it just sounds amazing Let's just go ahead and smell it together because I cannot wait any longer. Oh, wow. 
Oh wow. Yeah, this is gonna be such a good tea, you guys. Last but not least, I have one of their tea infusers that you put the tea in and then you pour it and you hold it over your cup and the liquid just comes down, but sometimes that's a lot of work to clean. So, this was also on sale and I splurged and got one of these mesh balls, I guess you call them, where it's basically like a little ball tea strainer bag and it just looks really convenient. So I'm really excited to try this out this afternoon with my sweet potato pie tea. I think that's going to be the perfect vibe for this gloomy day. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed that little cozy book and tea haul. I feel like a lot of us cozy homebody people are super into tea, so I thought I would share that. It's not sponsored. I don't have like a discount code or anything for you guys, but today is just a very gloomy day, and I'm not gonna lie, it took every inch of me to get myself ready today. I didn't even fully get ready today. I just want to climb back in bed and read for the afternoon. So I think that is going to be my plan pretty much for the rest of this video. I know this is probably a little bit more of a chill video, but that's honestly just kind of what my heart needed this weekend is just to relax and do things that fill up my cup and make me happy. And what's really going to make me happy is finally finishing Starling House. I'm halfway through. I think I have three hours, maybe less than three hours of the audiobook left. I have not been able to stop thinking about it. I'm so sad I haven't been able to read more in this vlog because I'm just itching to pick it back up. So we are going to hopefully finish this by the end of this video. And then like I said, I also was able to pick up Unfamiliar 2 early, which I'm really excited about. So I think these are going to be my priority reads for the rest of this weekend. And we're just going to get cozy together and relax the rest of this weekend because yesterday was full of good things, but also very tiring things. So I am very excited to just read with you guys and hang out some more. You tell me you're scared You tell me you're weak But I know you're stronger Than what you think
here to finally close out this cozy little weekend vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed all the baking and the book shopping and the hauling. I'm sorry not a lot of reading has been done in this video, but I am here to say that I finished both of these and I loved them so incredibly much. You still have time before the year ends to pick these up and read them because I'm telling you, this one for sure is probably going to go in my top favorites of the year. This one I will say wasn't quite as good as the first one, but I feel like that's what typically happens with series but I did like that this one had a little bit more of a plot there's a little bit more higher stakes in this one and I loved the friendship and the romance dynamic in this book I thought it really added like a sweet kind of cozy heartwarming element to this story there's also this creepy like fairy king that comes into play which was also super fun but because this book is so short I'm not gonna sit here and tell you much about it especially if you haven't read the first one just know that this is like one of my favorite graphic novel series of all time. I used to say Nimona was my favorite for the longest time, but now I think this one has easily taken the cake. I just love the artwork and the quirkiness of it, and the friendship dynamic in the story is just so much fun. So I highly recommend this one. This one though, wow, wow, wow. Chef's Kiss, amazing five stars. I don't even know where to start or how to talk about this book because everything about it was just so incredible. I was hooked from page one and could not stop thinking about this book. Every time I put it down, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait until the next time I can read. That's when you know it's a good five-star book. This is a very interesting twist on your typical haunted house story. There's an element in this, which if you've read from this author before, you probably know what that is, but it started out super super creepy. We have our main character who is living out of a motel and she has a younger brother who she is just trying to get finances to send him off to college and I just loved that characteristic about her. She was so hardworking, willing to do whatever it took for her family but unfortunately her mom passed away and even more of that backstory starts to unravel but then you have kind of the present day where she starts working at this haunted house and she meets the owner of the house. The morals of the story, the message. It was just phenomenal. I will say I wasn't the biggest fan of the romance. I don't know why I didn't expect there to be romance in this book when she has romance in her other books, but it threw me for a little bit of a loop about halfway through or a third of the way. I was like, wait a second, this is taking like a 180 and I was just kind of lost and couldn't grasp the world. But once I understood what was happening, I was like, wow, this is genius. This is so much fun. I loved the storyline. This was was just so incredibly quirky and I don't know how to describe it to you unless you have read it before and this is definitely going to go in my top 10 favorites of the year. So if you have not picked this up there's a good reason there's a lot of hype around it but just know that if you aren't super into like more contemporary stories this isn't like a thriller or your typical gory haunted house just know that going in it may not be your cup of tea but if you love a good heartfelt story I would definitely pick this one up. Thank you guys once again for just hanging out with me and just being willing to be flexible when I just want to scrap all of my plans and just do something chill and something fun, read some good books. I'm hoping to do a lot more of these like chill videos kind of going into the new year. I am hoping that you guys liked a little bit different of a relaxed style for this video, but all that to say thank you so incredibly much for being here and supporting my channel. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.